Heavenly Father, we are so grateful this morning. We are entering thy presence with humility. Father, with, with respect, Almighty God. We realize this morning that we have been saved by the grace of God. You took your only begotten Son. He was nailed to a cross. He died, O oh God, for us, that we can have life this morning. And I pray, Heavenly Father, we come with real reverence before you. And we pray that you help us. I'm here as your servant this morning. Hide me, Lord, behind that old rugged cross. I pray that you just use my lips this morning. There are people out there, Lord, some we know, some we have met before, but there is some that we have never met before. But I believe this morning and I'm trusting Almighty God that you will use your servant, use his lips, use his heart this morning. Speak to your children in a special way, Lord. I love you with all my heart and I pray, Almighty God, that you just bless us in abundance. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, I want to welcome you all in the precious name of the Almighty God. I want to say welcome to all our brothers and sisters, those that are listening in for the first time and I just want you to just bear with me we have we have formed a little group so that we can send out this little devotion and make sure that everybody gets it in time every morning just just bear with me and let's pray that God will just inspire us and continuing blessing us and wherever you are this morning I want to say shalom I want to say God bless you remember brothers and sisters remember to continue to send in those prayer requests send it as usual to my number like you normally send those requests those testimonies just forward it just send it to me and we will share it with the rest of the body of God. I was so blessed to share those testimonies with you yesterday morning. Oh my, it does something. I believe this morning that it does something to any believer to realize that God is still in the business of healing providing, delivering, saving, oh my. It's so wonderful to realize that God is still busy. Amen. And He will never stop. The Heere gaan nie sy werk stop nie, broers and sisters. I'll drive the world under the boe. Even if the world turn upside down, God will not stop his work the work of God will continue because we will not stop to preach until that last soul comes in remember the Bible says that there are joy in heaven there is joy in heaven when one soul comes to repentance and may God help us servants of God Hallelujah, that we will continue and whatever platform God is allowing us to minister the word. You might never realize that there is somebody out there that needs salvation, that needs a word from God. And that is why we are so grateful this morning that we can speak even in this little devotion. We can speak to you and we can pray for you. My, my, my. 
I'm so excited when we talk about the soil yesterday morning. You must excuse me, sometimes I get overexcited. But you know, I was so blessed by the little quote that we read yesterday morning where the prophet of God, you know, he made, he, I, I read something, you know, and I just want to read it again. Now, for instance, I took a grain of corn and put it in a blue pumice stone or something like that. It perhaps would not grow because it's the wrong kind of soil. But if it goes into good, fertile, black top soil, oh my. I, I want to just say this morning to you, brothers and sisters, you know, nothing can stop a seed to come to maturity if you place that seed in good quality ground, in good quality soil. And there's nothing, and I just want to underline it, maybe I have, I have said it before, but I just wanted to underline it, maybe if you missed it yesterday and the days before, I just want to underline that nothing will stop you. Nothing can stop you to bring forth what's in that seed. And now we are planted in the Word of God and we have to come up. We have to bring forth that life, that Christ-like life. Because in that seed, hallelujah, there's so much potential. And if that seed gets into the right soil, well, in the right temperature, with the right fertilizers, oh my, with enough water around that seed, not too much, just enough, to make sure that that seed can germatize and start to draw, hallelujah, from those fertilizers in that soil. And I want to just say you this morning that no matter the weight of the soil, I'm so excited this morning, no matter the weight of the soil, the, the weight of the soil can be a million times heavier than that seed. But I want to say as the servant of God this morning, allow me to say this morning, that no matter the weight of that soil, there's enough ability, there is enough potential in that seed to break through that soil and bring forth what's inside of that seed. Nothing can stop you from bringing forth, hallelujah, what's inside of you this morning, my brother. I like, I like the verse in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 54, hallelujah, verse 17. And I think this is one of the most familiar scriptures. But this is what I want to just underline and just bring it in there to show you that there's no weapon that is formed against the seed of God. Put yourself in there. My brother, my sister, young people, put yourself into the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 and place yourself into the scripture and become part of the word. No weapon, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Not even the weight of the soil will prosper against the seed of God. No matter what comes and what goes and what the enemy tries, hallelujah, 
There is no weapon. And if the Bible says, and if God says that there is no weapon that will, that's formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue shall rise against thee in the judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord and the righteousness is of me, said the Almighty God. Sometimes the, the temperature in the soil, sometimes it's mild, sometimes it's fair. You know, sometimes you can handle the, the soil, the heat and the temperature. Sometimes, you know, it gets real hot. Sometimes we, we can feel as the seed of God when we grow and we have to get to that, you know, grow to that maturity and produce that life, that fruit. Oh my. You cannot grow and not have fruit. The real reason why we grow is to produce fruit. And this is what I want to say this morning. Sometimes in the growing process, in the, in the growing process, you're experiencing sometimes mild temperature. You're experiencing situations that you can control, that you can handle. Sometimes it's fair, but sometimes it gets hot. It gets real hot. And sometimes it gets real difficult. And we feel that pressure. We feel that heat. You know, sometimes you're on the farm when, when it's hot and real temperatures are climbing above 40. Sometimes you look at the, at the plants and you're watching them bending down. Bending down. Surrendering. And then you say, Lord, oh my, if there can only be just a few drops of water, this little plant will revive. You know, what an experience. You know, to watch that same little plant, how it would bend down and fight uh, its way through a warm and, and difficult day. Oh my. How that little plant can can, can can really stand there and absorb that heat. It reminds me of a, of a son and daughter of God. Hallelujah. That can stand in the midst of our trials. We can stand in the midst of our situations. Sometimes it gets so hot that we bend over, we feel the pressure, we, we feel the heat, but just before we, 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 we decided to quit or to give up, then we can, then something supernatural happened. And I want to just say this morning, no matter how hot it becomes, no matter how, you, how the heat and how the pressures comes of this life, as long as you are rooted and anchored into the Word of God, as long as that plant is solidly anchored in that soil, the moment, hallelujah, water runs and the moment that roots can, can touch just a bit of, 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 of moisture, you can clearly see how that little plant slowly but surely recovering from that severe heat and that difficult pressure that he has faced, hallelujah, when things became so tough. And I want to say this morning, my precious brothers and sisters, sometimes it gets so hot. 
But I want to say this morning that there's enough in us as the bride of God, as the seed of Abraham. I want to say this morning, on this Wednesday morning, hallelujah, take courage, be anchored, be grounded, keep your roots down, be completely and solidly rooted in the presence of God, hallelujah. Real now, very soon, you will feel the, 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 the rushing in the mulberry tree. You will feel the moisture of heaven and the, and the drops, the dew, and the, the showers of blessings. Hallelujah, will come down and you will revive and you will draw from that water, that inexhaustible fountain of life. And you will watch that little plant, how it will lift up his head, and how those leaves will stretch out themselves again. And you will see the color change of that plant. And you will see that I, it's almost like that little plant is lifting up his head. And thank God for surviving and, and surrendering and, and giving some water. Hallelujah, so that it can go on and live again. How thankful we are this morning for the water of God's word. And we feel so revived. We feel so blessed. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. May God help us this morning. My brothers and sisters, let's pray. Heavenly Father, oh God, we love your word. Thank you for the water of, of God's presence that can quicken us again. Bless your children today. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.